everybody. Um, I'm just going to try to make a quick video and recap uh, for the 100 day challengers um, what, what I achieved in season two. Um, my season two was ending in June, ended sometime early this summer. And um, since then, I have finished a manuscript and it was revised. I um, was very, very happy about it. Um, I went out to California for about 10 days unexpectedly. Um, last year, I went to visit my relatives in California and I knew that my aunt had um, ovarian cancer and had just finished some chemo treatments for that. This year, um, cancer had returned and she was um, pretty much going through the last stages and she passed um, in July this year. I was very grateful that I got to visit with her and um, share good memories with her. Um, as far as um, my spiritual growth has gone, has gone, has been, um, I feel this year has been a really wonderful year for me, connecting to prayer again, praying, praying more directedly, and um, really being in a position where I, my expectations were were there for knowing that this was a point in my life where you know sometimes it, it feels like you know you're meant to be here everything has connected the dots for you to be in a certain place in your life and prayer at that time um, means a lot more connecting you to your purpose and giving you the strength and um, protection that you need to to win to win the things that are important to you to pay the price for things that are important to you um, my birthday last year my sister gave me a couple of different cards and letters and sometimes when there's advice in them I'm a little bit shy to dig into it because I'm always afraid someone's going to say something to me that isn't always, you know, what I want to hear, I guess. But um, this, this was what she gave me last year. Do you want to be wise? Do you want to be rich? Do you want to be famous? Of course, I'm none of those. But um, the proverb that it starts with says, Take what you want, but pay for it. Okay, so the law is simple. You may have what you want, but you must pay. Nothing is free. No one can save us but ourselves. No one can walk our path. Teachers merely show the way. So I finally, you know, I kept it, but I finally got around to looking at it this year. And it was some very good advice. Um, Part of the, part of the um, gratitude that I have for being more prayerful uh, last season was that it allowed me to realize that I'm worth the answer and that I'm worth the, the boundaries and the commitment and the kindness and the sensitivity and the patience and all these wonderful things that everyone needs, sometimes we don't realize that that's part of our self-worth, our part of what makes us valuable human beings are all of these wonderful things that we don't have to, we don't have to pay for 
um, ourselves, but we have to make sure that we're in the right place where those things are available to us, okay? Um, and if you're not in a place where happiness, joy, love, patience, kindness is available to you, I would suggest that you're worth it and make yourself available to those things. Um, the last thing I will say will be for my upcoming 100 days that I'll be focusing on a new manuscript which should help me prepare for greater greater responsibilities in the future. I should have a, a total of three manuscripts. This is my last one that I'm working on and um, I'm really proud of myself for believing in myself, sticking with it. Um, and I think those were the major things I wanted to say. The last thing I'll say is that um, the higher power that is infinitely greater than all of us is the creator of the universe and the heavens and the earth and this world and all other worlds that are made. And when you direct your petition of gratitude and thankfulness, be aware that there's something greater than the universe and that the greatest power on earth is the power that can move you to your deepest desires. And therefore, when I pray, I pray to the creator, the God of the universe, not, I do not pray to the universe. Um, and with that, I just want to wish everyone a wonderful 100 days wherever you are. And um, I look forward to hearing more great things from everyone. Thank you.